Here's Chris. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. What a, what a way to start the show, eh? <laughs> so now I was just talking to James about some more off-air stuff. And then... As I switched the microphone on, I decided to cough at the same time. I didn't decide to, it just happened. Turns out he does like you. Who? Yeah, apparently he's like, not James. Off we got that, he loves me. Yeah, we do. Yeah, apparently he's a big fan. Yeah. And I'm like, then why was he such an idiot? <laughs> oh. It's not reciprocating. Me? No. Now, we're talking about somebody that, somebody that doesn't like me, and then but apparently they do like me. Apparently they're why, a big fan. Why don't you think they... D- didn't like you. Oh, because they were just a pain in the ass back in the day. Nah. No, they were. And also as well. Remember. No one there is any good. <laughs> they can't be any good. Why? Because they can't be. If you were a news agent, James, <clears throat> and you were selling... A podcast or a... No, no, an actual yeah. news agent. Yeah. <clears throat> God, what's wrong with my throat? Yeah, all right. Do you want to... Let's say you had a fish and chip shop. Yes. Okay. And your fish and chip shop did really, really well. Yeah. You sold fish and chips for nine ninety nine, uh, bargain. Yeah. And your train of thought was, well, hold on a second, we can sell for nine ninety nine. Yeah. Because we can still make a profit. It's a lot cheaper than everybody else around here. We'll get more people coming to us. And what we'll do is we'll make the the fish and chip shop aesthetically pleasing, so it looks really nice. Yeah. And the staff will be super friendly and fun. Yeah. So not only are the fish and chips cheaper, but it's a nicer place to eat. We'll put a little counter in, so you can eat your fish and chips in if you want. Yeah. Put a couple of tables and chairs outside. Very nice. That's what we'll do. Nice. Right. Lovely. And then we'll sell some drinks, and then but we'll sell it but like cheap. Yeah. And you do really well. The business is booming. Yeah. Right? Can I sell panda pops there? Yeah, if you want. Thank you, I will. Yeah. Okay. And you can have a little panda pointing down to the fridge or whatever. Yeah. Okay, right. good. Sure, sure. Let's... Now, over the road, down there, there's another fish and chip shop. Yeah. And they look at what you're doing, and they go, oh, what are they doing? Well, they sell, they sell their fish and chips for 15 quid. Yeah. 15? And the shop's not as nice. Oof. And the staff are not as friendly. Yeah. And they've got no panda pops. What? Now... Here's the question. Should the people who own the other fish and chip shop get fired because they don't know what they're doing? And the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm alright. Just shuts it down. So I'm alright. Yeah. Ah. Just just unplug the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Switch it off. There you go. Close it. Down. I'm available for business chats if anyone's interested. <laughs> wow. I might start doing some TikTok videos where I just give advice on uh, on things that I've absolutely no knowledge about whatsoever. Because People who don't know who I am would be like, oh, this guy's good. <laughs> I think a lot of people do stuff they don't really know what they're doing, don't they? Oh, most, yeah. most people in life. Yeah. Anyway, good morning, everyone. Sorry about that. Let's start the show. Welcome to the Chris Morrill Show. In fact, we'll start, we'll start properly now. Let's do it now. Hold on. Three, four. Right, here we go. The Chris Morrill Show. Good morning. And welcome to the show. We're live on Global Play. You can watch us right now. If you just open up Global Play, you can watch the show. Or you can watch us on your TV or on your phone. If you've got the Global Play app on your telly, then you can watch it there. Just find the Radio X page and boom, here I am. Hi there. What a treat. Now, sad news today. There is no Dominic Byrne. He's been fired. Uh, We're not allowed to say why. It's an HR thing, but um, let's just say they found things in his bag. Yeah. It was time. Uh, (laughs) No, he's off today because it's his son's graduation. Apparently. It's also a naked festival, and Pippa and James convinced that Dom's going. Yeah. It's It's uh, very coincidental. Was it called a party in the Stark? Yeah. Great name. Starts today. And uh, it's, it's a hell of a lineup. Hmm. <laughs> Pop gods are playing tomorrow. Funk up the volume. <laughs> Do you think they reached out to any acts to try and actually book named acts that you've heard of? No, no offense to Pop Gods, but if they went to like I don't know, Ollie Mersey's manager, went, "Hi, we're a festival. I'm just wondering if Ollie Mersey would be up for playing." What, what's his rate? Oh, what kind of festival is it? It's a party in the Stark. I didn't hear you there. What was it? It's what? Well, it's like a, a party in the Stark, it's called. 
Uh, anyway, here is uh, here's here's the uh, the details and uh, when it is. What, what do you mean, party in the stark? What is that? So, to your name, what does that mean? Uh, just, just, naked, just, just, just. So, uh, can we get Ollie to play? Maybe headline on the Saturday. So it's a what festival? Are you breaking up a bit? It's, it's a nudist, <laughs> nudist festival. So everyone's nude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really peace and love, man. Don't worry so uh, how much for Ollie? Oh, he's not available, I'm afraid. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, OK. Everybody's very busy that weekend. There's a lot of naturist etiquette, by the way. I looked this up yesterday to check that Dom was doing it. No right. pens? No pens. No pins? No. Uh, but one, the big thing, it says to sit on something. So the one and only, it is often said the one and only rule in nature, naturism is make sure there is always something between your body and the piece of furniture on which you're about to sit down. Oh. Wow. So you always have to take around a towel or something. Now, is this a hygiene thing or a, a, yeah. a safety thing so you, you don't want to splinter any bum? M mostly hygiene. Right. But yeah, well, who both knew? actually. Splinter there would be painful. But yeah, well, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't want to win. No! So that's the big one. So bring bring something to sit on. I guess not a plastic bag, maybe oh. a towel. Christian's text. <laughs> Just seen Dom entering the park. Definitely him. <laughs> there we are. And he was nude. And he was <laughs> nude. <laughs> well, there we go. So you so do people tent there? Tent? Do they camp there? Oh, that's a good. Good question. Like, the thing is, right, I'm not going to do it. It's not for me. No. But let's just say, let's just say we're, we're doing it, right? Yeah. So, oh, you can stay there. The camping availability, all of that. Lovely. Chalet. The chalets. So let's say, let's say I'm in a chalet, right? Mm. And I get out of bed and then I have a shower. Yeah. And I'm ready for a festival. The day ahead. I mean, I'm already dressed. <laughs> So yes. then I do my I do my grooming. What are you wearing? But well, nothing. I was going yeah, out of the shower. That conversation in the morning. Like, what are you wearing? Well, weirdly, if I was with Tiff, she'd probably go. You're not going out like that. <laughs> and I go. What do you mean? She goes. Well, at least clip your nails. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, okay. Do you have a little trim up, like you know, little? Yeah, but and then you know, you put your deodorant on. You do exactly what you yeah. normally do. You just don't put on clothes. Yeah. And then you leave your tent or your chalet, and then you go off and enjoy the festival. Yeah. I said, I'd need flip-flops for trainers. At, at, at the the flip-flops at the very least. What's I can't you, walk around on my bare feet. What should you do with the key to your chalet? Like, <gasps> yeah. Bit, not bits. How do you buy stuff? Okay. Yeah, how do you buy stuff? You must have, like, little pouches or something, eh? And then you're naked, and then you go into the festival, you go, oh, let's, let's go and find some breakfast. You know, maybe they're doing a full English. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Oh, they've got napkins. And then... And you bump into, you know, Joan from work, yeah. who you didn't know was into this thing. Chris? Hi, Joan. <laughs> oh, how are you? Now, because I know the idea of the whole naturist thing is being free and all of that and yeah. being naked. I get that. But then if you bump into somebody that you work with, I don't know. Do you? Are you cool with it? Well, because are you allowed to look or not look? Because but you can't help it. Well, yeah. You've got no clothes on. But it feels like it's the sort of thing you're not supposed to reference it or look. But I think if you bumped into me in Sainsbury's and yeah. I had no clothes on, yeah, I think you're going to notice and you're probably going to have a look at some point. Yeah, you would. Of some part. At least a glance. Yeah. But would you look whilst someone's looking at you? You're like, oh, look, there are your bits. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, if, if I bumped into you at the weekend... Yeah. And chances are... I might say, or you might say, hey, how are you? Oh, my God. Oh, I like your jacket. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Would you go, um, but Chris, oh, my God, Pippa, hi, how are you? Are you? Oh, good to see you. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice testicles. I don't yeah. know. I guess so. <laughs> as long as it's complimentary, I guess. That's the main but thing. But what if you're walking through the festival and someone goes, Pippa, or James. Let's put it on you, Jen. James. James, and you go, well, that's weird, that's my name, that. James! Well, they can't be calling me. I'll turn around. Oh, that's Martin from the office. <laughs> there he is, coming towards you. And then you go afterwards, how did he recognise me from behind? How did he know? How, did he, how did he know it was me? Oh, I recognise those cheeks anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, it's got to happen, isn't it? I'm glad I bumped into you, James, actually. No bumps. I just wanted to buy a coffee, but I've got no money. Have you got any... I oh, know, I haven't got... Oh. Also, I don't know where to put the key for my shallot. I haven't got any pockets. Oh. Do you think people wear bum bags? Fanny packs, yeah. Yeah? Well, anyway, if you go to one of these festivals, can you text in and answer any of those questions for us, please? We're fascinated. 83936. Thanks very much. And if you are going to uh, party in the start, look out for Dominic Byrne. Uh, I found another bit of etiquette. Oh, yeah? This is more for nudist beaches. And right. it's a little bit of a, a delicate area. But if... <laughs> no, maybe I shouldn't. So, if something happens, let's say... <laughs> if, you're a, if you're a fella... If you're a fella... OK. Why are you whispering? Okay. If you're a fella... If you're you, a guy... What do you if mean? you're a guy... Yeah. And, you know... What? No. Things just move. What do you mean? A leg. The yeah. moves. No, things, you know, like, let's say it's just oh, for whatever Oh, them fellas who can wiggle their ears? Uh, Something like yeah. that. Right, I'm going to do that. There's yeah, yeah. etiquette around that I as well. Those. Yeah, that's it. You either stay in the water for a bit. Oh, yeah. Or you just turn over and, you know. Drill a hole in the sand. Yeah, but it's just etiquette, and then you just wait. Why? Well, I mean. Why? I, I don't know the whys. Why? Well, because it's a non well yeah, thing. That, yeah, but if yeah. you're on a nude, if you're at a nudie festival or a nude beach, and everyone's naked because nobody has any shame because they all love their bodies and they love everyone else's bodies and they're at one hum and all that, and then yeah, here comes you know Fred from the office. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, how are you? You'd be like, whoa, put that thing away. How are you doing, Fred? Yeah. Like, are you not gonna go? I am absolutely outraged. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Get it away. Wow. I'm so sorry. It just happened. I'm very tired. Like... It's not frowned upon. Oh, it's not frowned upon. Oh, it's not? No, no. It's like, it's just, you know, manners to so deal with So you don't knock it. tables over and stuff. But it's more yeah. frowned upon if you, if you point it out and then kind of start drawing attention. Well, you shouldn't be pointing anything out. <laughs> you shouldn't be pointing anything Because the opposite of that would be, hey, here, here, look at his little willy. Yeah. That wouldn't be right. No. So either or. Do you mean point it out yourself or someone you point someone else out? If, if you make anyone feel singled out for something about their body. About, about theirs. It's, no, it's not you walking down the nudie beach look going, check out what I got. Look what's happened. Check out what I got. <laughs> Somewhere to hang your hat, madam. Oh, you're not wearing a hat, you've got no clothes on. <laughs> what a shame this is a nude beach, because everyone can dry their bikinis on this. Someone's messaged in about payment. Yeah? Oh. They use Apple Watch for payment. Ah. Yeah, but this is fine, but what if you don't have an Apple Watch? That's, that's a good point. <laughs> Someone else has said there's not much call for merch stalls, which is also a good point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you think they have merch stands that they just have, like, stickers saying 20 quid for this T-shirt, but it's not there? There's nothing... <laughs> There you go. Oh, put it on. Lovely. Put Thanks for Pay for our Well, what the thing? I mean, listen, I ain't judging. Each to their own. Have a lovely time if you're going to party in the Stark. Yeah. I don't know how many people are going. I don't know how many of our listeners are going. or if they admit they are. Then Mark in Plymouth says, imagine the mosh pit. Oh, yeah. I went to one in Ibiza once, got scared and ran away, says Daz and Gates Head. It must be a nudie speech. I do wonder if you've got so far away from your chalet and it's the first time and you're going for it, and then you, but you're so far away you can't change your mind and then you suddenly become aware that you're naked. Oh, I, you I think you'd know you were naked when you left the chalet. But oh. what, what if I don't think it's dawning on you how, you know, 2.30 in the afternoon, oh my God, I've got no clothes on, I'm surrounded by naked people. Oh, oh look at the time. <clears throat> One second, please. <clears throat> 6.45, and you're listening to Radio X. Now, have you written it down? I tell you to write it down every day, but have you actually written it down? Well, write it down so you don't forget. And if a man knocks on your door and says, what do you listen to in the morning? You can tell him, I listen to the hot sound of Radio X. And it's Friday. Finally, the weekend has arrived. It's going to be a lovely weekend as well. Sun's starting to shine out through Leicester Square. And I hope you have a great day. Let's kick it off in fine style with a lovely sing-along from Huey Lewis and the News. What are you 
you're laughing at what you're doing. <laughs> you know, can you do, do you two distract me any more with your little show that you're laughing at each oh, other? Sorry. You found a picture of a man with a willy. Come on, share it I with didn't. the class. Jamie sent a text in that was funny, and I haven't seen the word that Ali G uses for the word willy in ages. And it, me, Julie. No, not that one. And it's proper. It just got me. You're a child. We're having a serious conversation about I'm naked sorry. festivals. I know. And you have to drag it down to your childish thing. Yeah, it's James. So where were we? Oh, that's right. So a guy's walking around the beach and he's got a massive thing. Yes. Are you not allowed to point it out? No. No. <laughs> oh, it's all right, James. What have you seen now? Nothing. <laughs> what's, what's taking your breath away? <laughs> Nothing. I just haven't seen that word in ages. Splash Landings Hotel on to bet Alton Towers used to have a nudist weekend. No, says Karen. No, Karen. They, no, they didn't. What? At Alton Towers? Home of the corkscrew? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Kerry and Rumford says, "Why didn't? where are your flags for party in the Stark? <laughs> Not allowed flags, are you? I don't know. Oh, oh my, my God! God it did! Wow! Oh, my God, Alton Towers did have a nudie weekend. Oh! Take I've it. been in the hotel! Oh, oh! Take it back, Karen. Oh, they're all in the pulpit. Oh, Pip! Oh, oh look at the man on the left! He's just, oh! oh my god! Now, he's he's leaning back, pushing everything forward. Is that allowed? He's proper enjoying himself, yeah. isn't he? Oh, oh dear! That is a thing. Ooh. Well, what's the article saying? Is it saying the end of an era? Why? Because they're doing it, or they're not doing it anymore? Yeah, that was their oh, last. What a shame! Bring it back, Alton Towers. The first oh. one in 2006. Oh, my Lord, really? Who knew? Oh, they weren't allowed to go on the rides where there were no clothes on. Oh. They must get friction. I hope they've got mats. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of... <laughs> a lot of questions for the rides. Uh, yeah, it's, do you know what? Listen, I'm, I'm all for it if you want it. Knock yourselves out. Yeah. It's, it's it's a no from me. I just, I wouldn't no. I wouldn't be able to handle it. I, listen, I'm a man. I I still freak out if I see boobs on the beach. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'll yeah. be honest. I think they pretend they not they so but yeah they pretend that everything's normal but it's just not. It's not. We normal. Were, we were on holiday once and I saw a woman who was topless on the beach and she had little tiny 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 cones. Yeah. Over her Nepalage. <laughs> but, well, the, but the cones were like, when I say little, they were big enough that she looked like she had cones on her nipple. Do you mean cones as in it was a small small bikini or no, just cones No, She's topless. Oh. Like a tassel. Okay. So but so she doesn't burn her nipples. Yeah. She had these little cones on, like a little Madonna bra that was just uh, the cones. A point. Sit, now, stop them burning. Now Oh, I'll be honest. I looked. It caught my eye. Of course. It caught my eye. It's unusual. And I had to put my sunglasses on. <laughs> because, as you know, when you got your sunglasses on, you, you can stare look. without people <laughs> thinking you're staring, even though that's what everyone's doing, and they know. It's like hiding your wallet in your trainer when you, <laughs> when you go for a swim. Because thieves <laughs> are going around looking in your bags, throwing your towel everywhere, going, I can't find this wallet. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my trainer shoe. No one's ever thought of that. So that's what you do. You put your glasses on, so like these, and then what you're doing is, I'm talking to you like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, tell us more. Oh, yeah, that sounds, that sounds really interesting there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're doing. But everyone yeah. knows. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know we got into so any Dom's of this. off to party. The Dom's is out. You know what? We, we turned a lovely day for Dominic into a, a situation which he doesn't want any part of. Yeah. It's his son's graduation. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Dom's going to have a... Dom's going to be panicking, isn't he? He bought McDonald's for everyone yesterday morning. Now he's got to go up to Leeds. Yeah. He's had to... Finn's got to hire his cloak and his mortar. Mortar board. Yeah. Yeah. So he can throw it up in the air when he graduates, and then that's got to go back to the shop. That, you know, Dom is paying for that. Yeah. He's going to be in pieces by the end of the weekend. Right. He might spend about 100 quid. Yeah. Then everyone will be having drinks after, which Dad will have to pay for. Oh, no, he won't. He might buy a round. Let's not <laughs> get giddy. Round. Hello, Mr. Byrne. 
bought a bottle of wine at the Radio X drinks as well. Yeah, what's that? Has he won the lottery? I don't know. Something he's had a win. Something before. he has, and he something's happened. Yeah. White wine Don was out. Yeah. Oh, it's a very good point. Anyway, he'll be listening to the show later. By the, by the way, I meant to say, when he woke up in the morning, because he slept over at Ryan and Toby's, well, no, we were saying that James was the drunkest, but as soon as Don walked out of the room, he looked at me and goes, I'm definitely still drunk. Okay, <laughs> what, Don, with a thumbs up? <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> I'm ready for the show. <laughs> we finished it, Dom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, I feel all right. Oh, I weighed myself this morning. I'm really upset. I've put weight on. I've, I, I skipped my Thursday. So normally, you know, I, I used to I used to weigh myself every day. So I'd like after the weekend weigh myself Monday morning. And go, Ugh, yeah. I'll put weight on, and then I'd be really good Monday, Tuesday, and then Tuesday morning I weigh myself. Hey, I'm down a bit. Wednesday morning, hey, I'm down a bit. Thursday morning, oh, I'm put on a pound and a half. Oh, why? And the Friday morning, I'd lose it. And I'm like, what's that all about? But anyway, I went out on Wednesday night for drinks. So I, I trained every day this week. And I didn't eat a lot Wednesday. But I didn't weigh myself Thursday. I didn't want to know. And then weigh myself today. Yesterday, yeah. I did 50 press-ups. Well done. And then I did... 50's a lot. And then I did a bit of stuff running on the treadmill. And I weigh myself tomorrow. I put a pound and a half. Pound and a half. Doesn't make any sense. Pound, oh, it must be muscle. That's what it is, it's yeah, muscle. Yeah, it's definitely from all those press-ups. Our friend Rob does the, um, he started doing, you know, Abby's Rob? Uh, yeah. He started doing that uh, 100 press-up challenge. Uh, what, every day for a so month? No, every oh, day. Just every day? He still does it. Blimey. Apparently. Blimey. And uh, he told me about it. So he, he basically, Rob was in his musical theatre actor. He was in Bat Out of Hell. And he's sharing a dressing room with a couple of other uh, lads, and they were saying about doing the, you know, we're all doing the 100 press up challenge. He goes, What's that? So you got to do 100 press ups. He goes, In how long? And he goes, it doesn't matter. You just got to do 100 press ups. So not in one go. No. You spread it out. You can't. Yeah. You can't do it in one go. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. Unless you're one of them people. Yeah. So he's telling me about it, and I said, you know, I'll give it a go. And I was training a lot at that point. Oh my God. Oh, it's so difficult. If you try and do it in one hit, it's so difficult. Sure, yeah. Can anyone do it in one hit? Someone can. There'll be people who can do 100 yeah. in one hit, yeah, but they even then. But what happens is, so you do like, let's just say you do 10. So yesterday I did 10. I've not done it for ages. Yeah. And uh, I left it a minute. And then I did another 10. And then I left it a minute. Mm. And then I just about managed seven. Yeah. And then I left it a minute. And I thought, five will do. <laughs> Then I left it another minute. And then I'm like, do you know what? I'm not going to do 100. It's hard. I'll just get around up to 50. I mean, there's still a lot, though. And I'm like, God, it's hard work. Yeah. It's really hard work. Can you do press-ups, James? <clears throat> yeah, but not many. Like, it's easy because I'm so light. Yeah. How many do you reckon you can do? Three? No, I did more than that. Four? No, more. Five. Oh, yeah, five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, way more than three. Yeah, yeah. Way more than three. But no, I saw, and I spoke to Abby yesterday, and I said, good God, that 100 press-up thing. She goes, oh, he's still doing it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Now, I don't know what the rules are. If, if anyone does it, can you tell me? Can you text in and let me know? Are you allowed to do, like, when you get out of bed, do yeah. 10, yeah. and then you get uh, I don't know, showered for work, and then you do another 10, and then maybe halfway through the day... You just do yeah. 10 in the office. Yeah. And then later on, you're doing it. Are you allowed to do that? Can you do it from like 7 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night? No, it must be in the same session. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. You know? I'm sure I'm sure I've heard people say, oh, I suddenly realised I had another 20 to do before bed or something like that. <laughs> and also, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Because, you know, you could just, I don't know. Not bother. Yeah, there is that. Anyway, here's what's going on on today's radio show. Uh, we've got Andy and Johnny from Razorlight coming in. Who I saw them the other day. And then Platinum Hour at 9 o'clock. Day 5 of the £25,000 box. I'll do the question just after the news in a few minutes to remind you. I could do it now, I guess. Yeah. 
got a bit, a oh, couple of minutes. I could do it now if I can find my dramatic music. I'll drop it in and then I'll do that. Okay, so would you like to win £25,000? The £25,000 box. Radio X. That's our birthday boy, Paul Turner there from yesterday. It was his birthday. Right, so... The box is here in front of me. If you're watching on the cameras, you've probably seen it. And all you got to do to open the box is name the Radio X artist. And that will unlock the box and you can win the money. Now, to get on the radio, to guess the artist, we'll give you a totally different qualifying question. And that question is, what Channel 4 TV show shows families and friends' reactions to watching TV? What's the Channel 4 show where families and friends watch TV. You know that one? What's the name of it? You write the word box and then you write your answer and you send it to 83936. So write the word box, write your answer, send it to 83936. Text cost £2 plus your standard network rate. We'll close the lines at 8 o'clock this morning. If you text after that, you won't be entered, but you may still be charged. You do need to be 18 or over and live in Great Britain to play the game. All the rules, including online entry at radiox.co.uk. So write the word box Write your answer, send it to 83936, and good luck, you could be on later. The £25,000 box. Radio X. Right, we're done. That's the first 25 minutes done. Uh, keep listening to find out, apart from anything else, who's reading the news today. Wave! The Chris Miles Show. Ah, uh, that'll do. 